Yo, what's up everybody? It's me, Zach Lesage, and we are back here at the Rare Candy TCG YouTube channel. So, I've been away for a little while. Um, I did a little bit of traveling around after Worlds, went to uh, New York City, Montreal, traveled around, played in some cups, and I actually had the unfortunate accident of where uh, my MacBook Pro that I was recording off of got completely totaled with some hair product. So, we're back here on my new iMac that I picked up uh kind of earlier this week i guess and uh we're jumping right in we're coming fresh off of me playing in a league cup i was able to win the league cup with abilities Zard, and i've made some changes since then to this list so i really wanted to go over this list because i truly feel like this is one of the best decks if not the best decks in our ultra prism to hidden fates format so we just had the sheffield regional championships go on we had, um, surprisingly, a Gardevoir Sylveon deck, and we also had a Pikachu Zekrom deck in the finals of that regional championships. I was not expecting that. I was fully expecting that it was going to be more control decks, similar to the Pidgeotto control that we saw in the top four of that event doing well, or maybe Shedinja uh, control or Poipul control, and more ability Reshazard decks. I'm not entirely sure what the highest placement was for ability Zard, but I do believe that Tord Reckliff played this deck and came 10th place, I believe. So that's what we got going on for this deck. Maybe he made like top 16. I don't know exactly what he made. But regardless, we're jumping into this deck. We're jumping into my list. And let's start with it. So this list is pretty synonymous with success in the game. Tord made top 4 with it at Worlds. And since then, people have been running with it. I don't necessarily like Tord's list from Worlds. And nothing against Tord. Um, I think his base list is fantastic. I'm just not a huge fan of cards like Super Scoop Up. So in this format, with there being a lot of counters towards this deck, and there being a lot of, uh, so like Keldeo GX, Bronzongs, even other um, Rush Ram Charizard GX, Turdinator is one of the absolute most efficient attackers we have in this deck because it can blow up a three prize card Pokemon and it's only a single prize card Pokemon itself. The strategy for this deck, it works out that you power up your Pokemon with Welder, likely the best card that we have in our standard format, or in any format now. I don't know, Welder is amazing. We power up Fire Energies onto our Pokemon, and we attack. If we need to do some big damage, we got our Reshiram Charizard GX, that we can either use Flare Strike or Double Blaze GX, which can also go through everything if you meet the extra requirement of three energies. Or you can move your energies with Burning Road um, to use a huge Hot Burn GX or the more efficient Steaming Stomp. And all while we're doing that, so we got Nine Tails that can use Nine Temptations to bring up our opponent's Pokemon with however which way we want. Um, and at the end of that, once we run out of a lot of energies, we use Victini Prism Star, and we use Infinity to shuffle them all back in, rinse and repeat, palp had back our welders, and we're good to go again. So basically, this deck has single prize card attackers, two prize card attackers, three prize cards attackers. Cool. They all attack efficiently. Yeah. They all power up each other. They all, they're all very quick, efficient, different typing, ways to go through attacks, Bring up your opponent's Pokemon however you want. Energy acceleration. These are all things that are the qualities of the best deck in the format. In any previous format that we've had really good decks. All of these combined in one deck. Especially in the shell of consistent Dedenne GX and Jirachi. Um, among with other cards. We got a super simple deck to play that has a high power creep. So jumping right into it. We got Turnator. We already went over this one. You want to power this up if you need to knock out one of your opponent's Pokemon. You do discard the energies, so it's one thing you usually want to go into a Victini after a thick Turdinator, but Turdinator is a great way to knock out single prize card Pokemon, such as Gyratina, or maybe even Spiritomb. And you can um, even knock out gigantic tag team Pokemon, such as Picarom for five energies. Um, Heatran GX is really, you build up a lot of energies in play, and sometimes you need to go all in, this is a great way to knock out Pokemon such as Gardevoir Sylveon GX or an opposing Reshiram Charizard GX because you could hit for the 270 damage necessary to knock out a Reshiram Charizard GX for only six energies in play. So a simple switch from your hand into a Heatran GX can put you into a huge turn. 
Um, Reshiram Charizard GX, like this card's been absolutely successful since it was released in Unbroken Bonds. Obviously here we're dealing with the fun promo art that recently came out for it. Um, Outrage is a great way to bounce back if they're unable to knock out your Pokemon. So let's say Caldeo GX, they already use their GX attack. You could use Ninetales to bring up something to get around it and attack with Outrage if they didn't knock you out. Flare Strike, not too many Pokemon can survive past 230 HP. And obviously Double Blaze GX can basically knock out anything in the game, going through most effects um, that are available. Um, even Caldeo GX, stuff like that, it's great just to get a huge knockout, huge beastly Pokemon, and you could power it up as quickly as turn two by going Welder, attaching an energy for your turn. And you can also go Welder and attach an energy for your turn on the next turn as well. So that's what we got right there um, in terms of our big firepower. Victini Prism Star, um, small Pokemon, lesser utilized than expected in before, um, but it really pops back where it could shuffle all the energies back um, that you use because if your Pokemon get knocked out or if you use Turdinator's Explosive Jet or if you use Ninetales or if you've been discarding fire energies with Giant Hearth, or if you've been using Heat Factory, you get the idea. There's also Acrobike. We could discard energies, trust me. Um, Victini is a great way to shuffle them all back into your deck and hit for a huge punch in the meantime. I know um, in the finals of my League Cup, there was an opportunity where I could have used Victini Prism Star to knock out my opponent's Heatran GX for like 220 damage easily. Um, I unfortunately missed the Victini. Um, I still won later that turn, or the next turn that is, but Victini Prism Star can do a lot of damage. Don't sleep on this card. Um, Volcanion is a great way to kind of bounce back if you're playing in a mirror match, or let's say if your opponent went first. Similar to how Green's Exploration Reshiram Charizard works, you can use Flare Starter on your second turn to power up three energies on top of using your Welder, on top of attaching an energy, which means that you can have six energies in play on your first turn of the game. Now, some games, you're gonna struggle to search for Welder, even though you have all the consistency cards in the world, um, it just won't happen sometimes, and that's okay. That's the game of Pokemon, there's variants. That's cool. Um, you could you could Flare Starter and get back exactly whatever you needed um, on the first turn to kind of get over the missing Welder. So attaching three energies is still very strong atop, so getting four energies out on your first turn if you go second. Um, what do we got up next here? We got ball picks, nothing really too special. Tail whip can be okay sometimes, I guess. Um, I guess I haven't used it because the deck has been setting up quite well for me, especially this list, but uh, that's what I have going on right there. Um, beyond that, it's very good to get this card out because you want to evolve it into a nine tails to use nine temptations. Now, in some single prize card matchups like Spiritum, you can use nine temp you can use Flame Tail to actually knock out your opponent's Pokemon, like a Frostlass or something like that. So keep that in mind that Nine Tails is not only used to bring up things in some rare occurrences, it can attack because 90 damage is nothing to scoff at. But realistically, this Pokemon's just like custom catchers every single turn. And with this deck playing 17 fire energies. It's a great way to just bring up your opponent's Pokemon, way more consistent than Custom Catcher or any other way to bring up your opponent's Pokemon. Um, <clears throat> the Dene GX, it's this adorable little Pokemon, uh, Dene Change, is an amazing ability. Um, we don't really care about what we discard as long as we're not discarding like a Fire Crystal or a Pal Pad or a Welder, um, but sometimes you can still even discard those and it's completely fine. Um, we're only using this card for Dead Eye Change, similar how in the past decks have used Happy Lele or Shaman EX or Marshadow as support Pokemon not to attack. Speaking about support Pokemon, we got the tried and true Jirachi. So this deck runs off a Jirachi engine with Switch and a Skateboard. Um, start with the Jirachi, play out your turn, use Giant Hearth, thin out your deck, and then we could uh, use Stellar Wish to get the Welder, basically, or whatever else we need in this situation, and really just proceed to be a quick and aggressive deck. Um, you could always switch into a second Jirachi and then use a skateboard to reach out of there to use Stellar Wish twice in the same turn. So Jirachi, incredible, consistent card. 
And we got acro bike here, pretty simple. I'll just run through the trainers because all the trainers in this format are pretty basic and they carry on from most decks. So this is a pimp, simple look at top two, dump and draw. Um, you wanna keep your resources. You could usually discard fire energy. One thing that I'd recommend when it comes to this deck, keep track of how many fire energies you have because you don't want to be in a position where you need to Victini, where you can't Victini, or to leave yourself short of being able to use Victini and running out of energies you do have to be conservative to a fair degree. Um, four copies of Cherish Ball in this deck. Uh, if you look at our GX Pokemon, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, Cherish Ball is really good, but it's great to search out a Jirachi or any Pokemon you want to power up when you're going in with a Welder. It's really good. Um, we'll explain how this count of four might change a little bit more in a second. Um, but we'll get back into that. Fire Crystal, um, I know that Tord's list played 18 energies in his list. I am totally a fan of 17 and a Fire Crystal, because to me that is 20 energy. I am very upset when I discard a Fire Crystal, and I am not upset when I discard a Fire. This card can quite often jump from being to 16 Fire Energies and uh, 2 Fire Crystals. Now, the deck is destructive at some points where you do need to discard cards, and you don't want to be discarding a Fire Crystal but you can and will run out of fire energies at some point, and that's why you need them for Victini Prism Star. Similar to how I value this card, I value Palpat in the deck, whereas I'd like to see two um, copies in the deck, but the list is so constrained. It's, uh, it's pretty tight on space, <clears throat> but Fire Crystal is a great addition to this deck to get things back. Um, friend Ball, so I was actually uh, talking over with one of my friends on Twitter about this earlier today, about how friend ball can be good he was the one who recommended to it uh john conkle that is so shout out to him what up john um friend ball so he he was looking at the format the top decks are fire type psychic type they all play the dene they all play jirachi friend ball seems like if your opponent has any half decent setup that it makes sense just to play a copy or two in this deck or maybe even more I could see the downfall being if your opponent starts with a weird Pokemon. So let's say if they're playing Quagneg and they start with Keldeo and you can't search for anything. But um, if it's past the first turn and they've set up, you should be able to search for whatever Pokemon you want without any drawback. I totally see that this card is going to see play going on in the future, especially with Mew Mew being fire type based. Um, Dedenne checks in the deck. Jirachi is being played around. Mirror matches occurring. I believe that friend ball can almost search out any card in this deck pretty easily based off the metagame. So this is a card that I could see growing in this deck or in the format in general. So thanks again, John, for uh, letting me know about this card. Makes a lot of sense. So I have one in the deck right now, but we'll see exactly uh, if it grows into a little bit more. Maybe we can cut a cherish ball or two to up the friend ball count if it becomes something very good. Um, Pow Pow, we kind of briefly went over this. The deck only plays four supporters, four welders, probably the best card in the format. Um, you shuffle them back, and uh, you can use them again. That's basically the best way we have to get them back. If we have VS Seeker in format, we'd obviously re be running four of those, but we only have Palpad, so we're running one of those. Um, Pokemon Communication. So I originally was playing three, but I cut one for the Friend Ball today to see exactly how that would work out. I think it's a great idea, and it's something I want to experiment <clears throat> with more and heavily test this week. Um, so this is a simple reveal Pokemon from your hand, put it back. Um, it's a great way to search out your non-GX Pokemon, um, because the deck does play for a Cherish Ball. So when you're searching for your Pokemon, you can get your Turtonator. Well, you could actually get anything, um, if you don't have the Cherish Ball, or let's say you didn't have it, you could search out any Pokemon with Pokemon communication, but you do have to put a Pokemon back. Quite often this deck will go Cherish Ball, search for a Pokemon, Pokemon communication, put it back, because this format does not have a lot of great search potential. Switch, um, one of the most absolute basic cards in the game. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. It's a great way if you have a Pokemon like Turtonator that you just wasted all your energies in play off of and you can't get it out of the active position. Switch while you do that, your hand's a little bit dead. Switch into a Jirachi with an escape board. Or maybe even just have a Jirachi in general that's just chilling in the active position. Um, Switch is there to save your butt in more, <laughs> more circumstances than you would ever believe. Um, Giant Hearth. This card goes hand in hand with Welder. It's absolutely busted. You just dump and draw. You just dump a card from your hand, search your deck for your two fire energies, and you're good to go. Um, this card's like double Viridian Force for this deck with only the one drawback. 
absolutely amazing. And next up is Heat Factory. We're only allowed to run one of these because it is a Prism Star. Dump a Fire Energy from your hand, draw three cards. And it's hard to bump this out. Obviously, if there's no Field Blower in our format, in our new Post Rotation format, that is. But if there's anything in the future that can get rid of this, then it's going to be much more difficult to get rid of this. So, got that. Welder, as we explained, attach two Fire Energies, or up to, that is, and draw three cards. And a skateboard, it can get us out of asleep or paralyzed, um, and our retreat cost is one less. So pretty simple, great with Jirachi. Um, if you run into a Raichu and Alolan Raichu GX, you can get out of your paralysis really quickly, or you could just use a switch, whichever works best. And last but not least, we got a bunch of fires in this deck. So what I recommend here, take a screenshot of this list. Um, I also posted on my personal Twitter, um, or a similar list that is from winning my leak cup literally yesterday so this is what we got going on and i'm gonna play some games with it so we'll see exactly how the deck turns out but um it should be some fun times and i honestly think that this is one of the best uh one of the best decks in format if not the best deck in format so we'll see exactly how it goes and uh we'll check it out from there water dark um, looks like we might be playing against a Pikarom deck. Yay, we won the coin flip. I will gladly go first. Um, these starts are kind of looking out. They're kind of looking weird. Um... Looks like our opponent's just choosing an active Pokemon. Okay, so it looks like we're playing against that. Um, that's cool. We can at least get some kind of setup. Um, I think I want to just retreat into a Jirachi at some point this turn. So I'm going to just grab a Jirachi, see what we have prized here. Uh, we have a Jirachi prized. <clears throat> Pokemon wise, everything's looking all up to snuff in terms of whatever we got. Um, looks like we're missing a Cherish Ball. A Switch. A Heat Factory, a Welder, and a Skateboard say that that's almost six if not six um i'm gonna see what acro break brings first before we go with a friend ball okay um since we already have a giant hearth in play just gonna grab a turt do that drop a giant hearth attach a fire energy there and i'm just gonna go for a friend ball so the friend ball will be able to search for a Dedenne GX. And Dedenne GX, we can see what we can draw. Wow. Let's use Giant Hearth and discard some more cards. Okay, so obviously the next best thing here is just to retreat the Jirachi um, and using Stellar Wish. Acrobike seems like the best thing to grab there. And let's see what Acrobike brings. We did get an escape board. Okay, so let's go escape board there. Do I want to go for another Jirachi? Um, well, we did waste our energy attachments. I don't think it's worthwhile because I don't want to retreat out of it. We already got the escape board. Our opponent likely won't get a knockout on us. Let's just go for the pass there. So we'll see exactly how our opponent's turn plays out. And stadium nav, ooh, one head. So I'm assuming they're probably gonna go for either a Lysander Labs 
or um, what's the other one? Thunder Mound and Prism Star, depending on which one they have in their deck, if they have them in their deck. So we'll see exactly what uh, 26 Raichu 26. So there's a Lysander Labs that's going to shut off Giant Hearth because that's going to get discarded and pop our escape board into our discard pile. Well, not the skateboard's gonna be in the discard pile, the skateboard's gonna be X out on PTCGO, but that's fine. Ooh, what did our opponent just discard off that Dedenne? That seems a little rough. Electro power, stuff like that. Double lightning energy. Okay, let's see how our opponent's turn plays out. Cynthia, so it looks like they got a pretty good start actually. I'd, I'd argue and say that it's better. I don't know exactly where my welders are in these games, but. Let's see. Playing two different arts, the Pikaram, that's cool. Okay, so they're gonna switch. If they get to turn one and knock out my Jirachi, I'm gonna be super upset. But that's Pikaram for you. Yeah, I'm awake at least. There's a Cherish Ball. Um, how many energies are in this discard pile already? Four, ten. Might be a fun time to try to go for a... Oh, whatchamacallit. Uh, Victini Prism Star, right? Actually, I, I almost don't. I almost like that play. Let's go for it see exactly how far this that can go so there's a victini there's a cherish ball so we're going in with some thick single prize card attackers and you can see that we're still without a welder with only 24 cards left in our deck and uh, nine fire energies in our discard pile. Let's see what we can get off Stellar Wish. So we are able to get a Welder out there. And I'm really hoping that our opponent is not able to get around our Pokemon. So let's go Welder. At this point, it's better for us to power up Victini. And we're dealing here with completely nothing. This deck is completely folding in on us. But we do have an energy. Uh... Yeah, let's go energy on Turdinator just to power up a little bit more. So we're gonna do that. See exactly what our opponent does in response. If I were um, the Pikaram player, I'd be trying to search out custom catchers. Okay, so they're gonna go for a tag switch in energy, so I think they're just gonna get off the attack with Pikaram. Um, and probably power up the one in the back after they move the energies from the one from the back to the active. At least we'll be able to attack with Victini. Maybe they'll get really, uh, maybe they won't realize what Victini does and attach him to the active. No, they know what they're doing. Okay, so at this point, there's no point of me not sending up Victini Prism Sire. And we got to switch. 
Switch doesn't really do much for us. We will need those Pokemon. Um, <laughs> they're, they're, it's either I hit for 180 or um, I waste all my big attacking Pokemon in one shot. Um, considering it's possible for us to get a knockout here, I'm going to go for Dedenne. There's nothing else that we can do here at this point. Um, let's go for Acrobike. Um, and let's go for Giant Hearth. Um, okay, let's go for, so how many do we have in our discard pile right now? 10, let's go uh, nine temptations. Bringing up that poke. Let's go welder. We only got the one there, but that's okay. How many welders have we used in this game? We've used two. So I do want to have a higher chance at getting those welders out. And let's go for... Should I... Let's use Cherish Ball. I don't think there's any GXs left at all if our opponent were to go reset stamp against us. And Infinity should get the knockout here for 240 damage directly. So that's a big attack. Um, I know that I'm most certainly probably drawing into a Fire Energy next turn, but I'll gladly take some prize cards, hopefully some good ones. Uh, seems like we're getting absolutely nothing is the theme of this game. But you could see sometimes when this deck, you draw absolutely nothing and you're still able to knock at a tag team Pokemon. Um, a Welder and two Fire Energies wins the game next turn. So hopefully we could top deck into a Jirachi or something like that. We could always Nine Tails. I don't know if our opponent's going to try and attack us with their Pikachu Zekrom. Um, they're only hitting us for, well, they've been getting a knockout with their Hoopa. I don't know why they played the Electro Power, obviously. I guess they don't care whatever we have at this point. See what they're gonna cherish ball here for. Maybe a Raichu Raichu, maybe a... They could be cherish balling for a lot. Dawn Wings. They play cherish ball usually it's because they play a Sigilyph or a Dawn Wings. Because everything else is searchable through electromagnetic radar. Okay. Oh. Are they going to try to go for uh, knocking out both the Victini and the Turdinator? I really hope not. Come on, don't have Thunder Mountain and an energy switch. Okay. Uh, it kind of sucks. So I would have gladly liked to use that. Or were they gonna grab off Pokemon communication? Tapu Fini doesn't do much. And the dark Pokemon in their deck, Hoopa, does make sense. I guess it's not Absol. Hoopa is more common than Absol. Okay. Hmm. Them discarding that giant hearth really does suck. Okay, let's end up at the Dene. See what we draw into. Oh, we got Fire Crystal. Let's use Cherish Ball.
Now, you could either power up one of our Pokemon, but I'm pretty sure our opponent's trying to threaten them, attacking with a Pikaram, um, using their Tag Bolt GX. Four, eight, nine. They should have two energies left. Um, I think no matter what we do, our opponent's going to be able to get out of the active position, attach an energy and go energy switch. Um, but maybe, you wanna know what? I'm fine with going nine temptations, just get rid of that, whatever. Let's put it on a Dene. And I shouldn't have put that Volcanion down, that's a mistake on my behalf. Um, I should have saved that in case we top deck a Jirachi to give a higher chance of getting a Welder. But it's not going to really matter when our opponent took out our Giant Hearth. You can see that uh, we're dealing with zero Giant Hearth in play. And our opponent is basically a Lightning Energy and an Energy Switch away. So they need to get out of the active position. Okay. Yep. From Hoopa to Dene. Oh, are they just going to play a switch? Yep. So they're going to knock out um, likely Dene and Turdinator. Oh, I guess that makes sense, considering they have four prize cards left. When you get too mono-focus on the game, uh, you just consider that you could lose. Um, regardless, I wonder what type of deck this can be. Um, I'll call Tails here. Hopefully we can win it. Ooh, we run, and we're playing against Run Ran. What's up if you watch this video? Be sure to leave a comment. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> looks like we're... Uh, we might have a okay game here. I don't know. Depends on what we top deck. Uh, Cherish Ball can obviously search out a Dene. Um, not the start that I'm particularly excited to see. Um, ooh, Great Potion, Green's Exploration, Psychic. I wonder what this is going to be. Is this going to be some kind of lock deck? Definitely draw another card. Um, I'm going first, so there's no point about benching that. Gengar, Mimikyu, okay, cool, let's do this, 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 and let's go Cherish Ball, Cherish Ball will allow us to search out a Dene, and let's see what we're missing, we, looks like we have, or we're missing a Jirachi, an Acrobike, so there's two cards, we are missing a Pokemon Communication, there's three cards, um, We are missing an energy. There's four cards. And I'm sure we're probably missing one more Pokemon. I can't put my finger on it. Um, it's a Turdinator. We're missing a Turdinator and we are missing a Volcanion. So those are our six prize cards. So good to know that information. Let's grab this to Dene. And we're going to go ahead and attach an energy to Turdinator. And let's go for a Dene here. Now see what we draw off this okay so we were able to get some stuff out let's just go giant hurt to discard a fire energy grabbing a couple fires um vulpix seems like a very good card to put down jirachi seems like a good card to put down i'm just gonna retreat into this jirachi and let's go for uh did i use giant hearth i did let's go stellar witch and hopefully we can get out a welder Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I have played a couple games with this deck, and uh, it just seems like it's been having some poor draws, but we can quickly see how this deck is setting up for us. Now, I'm gonna start powering up this Rush Ram Charizard GX. I think that sounds completely fair. And we'll wait to see what our opponent plays beyond the Gengar uh, Mimikyu. I'm pretty sure it's Gengar Omastar similar to what Alex Shemansky played to a top 64 finish at Worlds. 
So that being said, I'm going to play a friend ball because I want to get rid of these items in my discard pile or in, out of my hand. Because if you read what Poltergeist does, your opponent reveals all the trainers they got from their hands and we chill in. So we got that. We got a cherish ball here. Realistically, I just want to grab a Dene. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm assuming our opponent's going to be using a Horror House GX. So it's just going to be your opponent can't play any cards, but I'm okay with the Jirachi being in the active position. Let's just uh, go for a pass here and see. Um, now their deck doesn't play a lot of Pokemon. It can be quite often difficult for them to get out things. Um, Pokemon that is. And 240, yeah, it looks like we're about to win the game that turn. So we can see that that's a quick game. Um, quite often at the League Cup that I won, I was able to win three games on the first or second turn of the game. Um, whether it was the top eight or Swiss. So the deck absolutely explodes sometimes and we can see how not a great start looks pretty good there. Okay. So they're calling the coin flip and I lost the coin flip. So we're going to be going second, but that's okay with this deck. Hello, hello, Dark Slayer type Z or Z, depending on where you are in the world. We got no basics, bro or brodette whichever one you are, or maybe you don't conform to that. Um, however it is, hello, salutations. What do we got going on here? Please give us a good start. Why, why, why do we have to start with the Dene? Um, that friend ball, even if it was a Pokemon communication, we can see that it wouldn't be that great, but we do have a welder in our hand. So if our opponent does flip over something we can search out with friend ball, it could be a very good game. Now, their dark everything seems a little bit deceiving, but we can use this friend ball to search out for a Dedenne at this time. I don't think our opponent's going to be playing a fire type Pokemon in their uh, what looks like to be a Raichu Pikaram deck. Um, so it looks like friend ball is only going to be a lightning type card. So in the deck profile, I was uh, talking about the friend ball. Not entirely sure where I feel with that, but we'll see exactly how it goes here. One of the matchups that doesn't really conform to how friend ball could go. So more and more that I think about it, it's probably better just to play the one friend ball or play the third Pokemon communication, depending on whatever you want to choose. But uh, we'll see how this game goes. Maybe we'll just uh, top deck a Cherish ball and proceed to get whatever we want going on. We do have that Welder, and our opponent's playing Lily. Lily is not really a card that we see often in Picarom lists anymore. Um, it's usually Balkner and Judge, similar to Charlie Lockyer's top 32 placement at Worlds or top 16, whichever one he did. He did really well. So shout out to him. Opponent's got a good start. I was really hoping that their Zorora would stay in the active so that if we were to get a Cherish Ball, we could just go for a double Blaze GX turn one knockout on it. But, um... We'll just let our opponent do their thing. Maybe they're going to get out uh, another Picarom and a Dene or something like that. Or maybe they're going to Pokemon communication one of their cards back in. Oh, Dedene. Our opponents, uh, what have they discarded so far? They discarded a decent bit of resources, like the reset stamp, the energy switch, the switch, um, another Lily. I don't know if why they want to go for another Dedene here, but... Let's see exactly how that goes. There's an escape board. Oh, and they're going right in with a Picarom in the active position. That's uh, kind of weird. Okay, so we did get a Heatran, and I don't feel nearly as bad. I don't want to go... Or I actually do want to go in... We can actually go Friend Ball for a Jirachi here. So I'm going to go Friend Ball into Jirachi. So our opponent's probably like, yo, what's up with that? So maybe the friend ball is a little bit better than I first expected. I forgot that Jirachi is played in Picarom. Um, and before we do anything, I do want to go with the Welder here. So let's go with Welder, attach a couple energies to this Heatran GX. See what we could get off this Acrobike. Okay, that's, uh, that's actually not bad. Um, I'm okay with this start, to be honest. I'm just gonna go Pokemon Communication, turning this into a Dedenne. And going through the deck, which I should have gone through when I set search through with Friend Ball, um, we are missing a Jirachi, we are missing a Turdinator. Um, we 
are missing a switch. We are missing a giant hearth. And it looks like we're missing um, the rest to be fire energies. So that should be our six prize cards. We'll see when we start drawing some prize cards here, but we'll just go switch there. Um, now I can't attach a fire energy to someone else, but I do want to have a healthy amount of fire energies in our discard pile, whether it's for fire crystal or for Victini prism star. Okay, um, so there's a Cherish Ball. I do want to start powering up a Rush Ram Charizard GX because that is hard for our opponent to knock out and we can always use Burning Road. But before we do that, um, I just want to go Key Factory. We could also go for Stellar Wish. You can see our turn is very good. We did get an Escape Board there. So maybe we can get a Turdinator powered up um, quickly. You can see that our response turn is pretty strong. And I'm actually okay with putting the escape board there um, because we can always, once this Pokemon gets knocked out, assuming it does get knocked out, we can have a response. Um, Cherish Ball is a fine card just to have in our hands and it is going to lead us closer to getting something else going on. But there's a Reshi powered up. This is a pretty great turn one for the deck. Um, I would have liked to have a single prize card attacker, but starting with the Dene, it is what it is. Got a couple draw cheese, so it's not looking too bad. We'll see what our opponent does. Maybe they're going to go Lightning Energy, Thunder Mountain, Prism Star, or maybe they'll go Volkner for a Stadium Nav. However they decide to do it, we'll see how it goes. Um... Okay, so looks like they're gonna go for a Cellar Wish. They didn't play a switch, they just hard retreat. Yeah, they retreated, so maybe they have a switch or they're gonna try to do something for the next turn. Regardless, I'm okay with whatever we have going on. Um, looks like they're getting set up, and if we can get that Heat Factory in play for another turn, I'm pretty much about that life. Okay, there's a Lily, they're doing all their stuff. If they don't have a switch, they're not getting a knockout. If they do, whatever. Okay, cool, that looks like they're going in with the switch play. Um, now I'm not entirely sure how they're going to attach their energy with full blitz, but um, I'm two energies away from getting the knockout with Heatran GX, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so they're going all in on their Raichu. So let's go Jirachi here. And first and foremost, I want to go for Heat Factory. And the next best thing that we can do is go for a Welder onto the tur Um, Actually, let's go for a Cherish Ball first to clear out another GX Pokemon. And let's go and actually clear out one more so we have a higher chance of getting what we want off Stellar Wish. We're either looking for a Pokemon Communication, or an Acro Bike, or a Giant Hearth, actually. So let's go Stellar Wish. Um, so there's a there's a Giant Hearth, but I actually want to go for a Pal Pad here, because that will allow us to get a couple Welders back. This deck runs completely off of Welder. So let's start powering up this Reshi. Okay, um, we did get a Volpix out there, so that's very cool. I'm very much about that. Let's do that. Let's go Pal Pad. Get back a couple of our Welders, so you can see that that's how the Pal Pad works out in this deck. And we still can attach an Energy for our turn, considering I don't think that our Reshiram Charts or GX is getting knocked out. Um, I might want to leave an Energy on that Pokemon because I think they're knocking out our Heatran GX, and they have wasted a Custom Catcher. So let's do that. Let's go for Retreat into Heatran. We want to go for Burning Road. Just get one, two, three energies on this Pokemon. So very similar to Xerneas Prism Star. 
and I expect our opponent might try to play a reset stamp. A lot of peak ROM lists are playing too, so I will go for the skateboard onto this Rush Ram Charizard GX if they were to go for Tandem Shock on it. Anything else, I'm not really that worried about if they knock out. Let's go for Hot Burn. I got some hot stuff going on right here. Um, and we will be drawing three prize cards. So there's a Giant Hearth. There is a Turnator, and there is a Fire Crystal. So Fire Crystal is one of the cards that we prized, I think, instead of a Fire Energy. So we'll see exactly how our opponent responds here. Um, so let's, let's see exactly how this goes. Um, I think our opponents... Oh wow, they're actually just going to leave that Heatran GX there. That should allow us to win the game. Um, with Turnator if they go for their Raichu Raichu. So we'll see. If they're not going for any... Like, we have three prize cards left. With them going for the Rush Ram Charizard to draw some extra prize cards. Um, we have five energies in play. If you read how Turnator works out, we can actually use Explosive Jet. Discard any amount of fire energy from your Pokemon. Then this attack is 50 for each card you discard in this way. We have plenty of energies in our discard pile, and I was actually kind of hoping for them to knock out the Heatran GX, because it was possible for Gus to get out of Victini Prism Star this turn. But between Fire Crystal, Giant Hearth, Welder, Heat Factory, Jirachi, um, and Ninetales, if they don't go for any huge reset stamp play, um, we should be in the clear here. So we'll see exactly what our opponent's doing. Maybe they'll just paralyze us. Nope. There's a Volkner. So the final moments to see exactly if uh, they're just going to hand us this win. There's the Electro Power. Please don't reset stamp us. Please, 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 please. Just go for your GX attack. Yes! Yes! And this is why this deck's so busted. They don't think that we can just knock out, obliterate whatever they have going on. I can attach three energies to a Turnator, bring up something with a Ninetales. This seems like everything is going to go out all correctly. So, okay. First and foremost, sending up Jirachi. That sounds busted. And there's another Welder. So, before we go in with anything, I want to go with Fire Crystal, because we only need to have one, two, three four or five energies um basically i'm i'm just gonna try with stellar wish first i want to double check to make sure that we still have another energy um based off of us having another energy let's see how i don't want to acrobike first i actually want a giant hearth first seems like a waste to not use the whatchamacallit the heat factory but we have five energies. I was just trying to be pretty resourceful there. Got the five energies. So let's go for Turnator, Welder, one, two, attach to Turt, attach to Turt, nine tails, nine temptations. Let's go Nine Temptations and bring up their Raichu Raichu. Now we have eight energies in play, so we're swinging for 400 damage. Pretty sure I clicked Retreat there. There we go. So swinging for the 900 or for the 400 damage. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. We got it. So there we go. 400 damage and we win the game in two attacks so that's how this deck works for the majority for me um seems like a great deck to play going forward okay everyone so that's it for the video today i hope that you enjoyed watching me play reshazard i know that we uh at least depending on how editing goes that we lost one of the games and that during some of my earlier games i had some poor setups with this deck 
but you want to know what in the games that I've showcased here it can show exactly how explosive this deck can hit you, in the game winning in basically on the first turn with our opponent having nothing or winning the game in two attacks this deck has what it takes to compete with any deck in this current format yeah that includes water decks yeah that includes things that block gx attackers things that have blocked fire attackers this deck has it all so i really hope that you enjoyed watching this deck and if you're not sure on what you want to play in this format this is the deck that i 100 recommend for any future regionals whether you're going to be going to the regionals in germany one of the special events in south america or if you're going to be going to atlantic city in new jersey if you're playing on the north american circuit so that being said be sure to share this video like this video tell your friends Tell all the people at your league, please help us out here. We're trying to provide the absolute best free content that we can. And I know that I'm going to be hitting the season as hard as possible and making sure I can produce as much content as possible. I just invented two thousand, or I just invested, sorry, $2,000 into a new computer to make sure that you guys can have the absolute best experience when watching rare candy videos. And I hope you really appreciate that. Um, you can show your appreciation by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg um, or you can go to the rarecandytcg.com site, pick up some merch, that would also be very helpful. But we just appreciate all the love and support, so if you got anything you want to say, let us know in the comments below. That's that's uh, been everything for me, I'm Zach Lesage. you can follow me on Twitter at ZLesagePokemon. Thank you so much and have yourself a great day.